Hello there. I was just enjoying a hot cup of tea and a soft, warm blanket. It's so fuzzy. Here, feel it. Fuzzy blankets are the best. Hey, did you know that in art, we can make things look soft or fuzzy too? It's called texture. And there are so many different kinds from rough to smooth, soft or bumpy. Today, we are putting our scientist hats on to explore texture with watercolor. In this lesson, we will experiment with different materials to create fun textures from fuzzy to smooth, and then we'll choose our favorite one to turn into a fabulous sweater. Ready? Here we go. Yeah. All right, friends, today we are going to be experimenting with four different ingredients. We have salt. This is just regular old table salt straight from the kitchen. A crayon. You're probably familiar with those. A tissue. You could use a Kleenex or a paper towel. And a piece of plastic. This is just from an old plastic baggie. But you could also use cling wrap. Let's go ahead and divide up our watercolor paper into four different sections using some tape. I'm going to tape down all four sides of my paper and then divide it into four sections. To divide my paper into four sections, I'm going to put a piece of tape straight down the middle and then one across. Perfect. In this first box, we will experiment with salt. So I'm going to write that right up here. In this box, we'll experiment with crayons. This one with a tissue, and last but not least, the plastic. Okay, here we go. In this first box, we'll see what happens when we combine salt with watercolor, but first we need to add some paint to the paper, so let's wake up all our paints. I've got my watercolor paints right here, and I know that I'm gonna be using a lot of colors, so I'm just gonna go ahead and wake them all up. To wake them up, we need to give our paintbrush a good swirl in our water cup, and then just gently brush them a few times with some water. You might already know what colors you wanna use, and that's awesome. And you can just wake up those colors. But adding some water will make them a lot easier to work with. Great, now salt really loves water. It absorbs or soaks it all up, so let's add some clean water all over our section of paper. What do you think will happen if we add paint to the paper too? Let's find out. Give your paintbrush another swirl in your water cup and then load up your brush really good with your color of choice. I think I'll go with mm, red. Load up your paintbrush really good with your color and let's just paint it all over. Ooh, that's pretty. Awesome. Rinse off your brush. And now for the fun part, grab your salt, take just a little pinch of salt and let's sprinkle it onto the paper. Do a little sprinkle just like that. Now we have to wait and let it dry and we'll see how it turns out. For this next section, we'll use our crayon to draw some fun lines. I think I will do some crazy squiggle lines. What other lines can you think of? Let's see, there's straight lines, there's zigzag lines. Ooh, that's fun. We can add any lines that you want. Do you know what crayons are made out of? 
Wax, earwax, ooh, gross, that would be disgusting. But they are made of a different kind of wax, and guess what? Wax does not like water, mm-mm. What is water color made of? Yep, water. So when we brush over our cool lines, the wax is going to go, oh no, you cannot come here, and it will push away or resist the paint, which is cool for us because that means we still get to see our beautiful designs of crayon colors. So choose a new color and watch your design transform. Whoa, because I my crayon was a very light pink and now I'm adding a dark blue over it, the pink really stands out now. That's cool. How did yours turn out? For our next one, make sure you got that tissue close by and we're gonna use it to make some fluffy clouds. But first, some paint. And I'm going to add a little bit of water to my paper as well. Oh, that's a little blue on it. Hello. I'm going to add some water to my paper first. That way the paint spreads really nicely all over. Okay, now for a new color. Hmm, let's see. How about... Do, 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 do. How about purple? There we go. Okay. Now crumple up your tissue really good like this and then gently press down onto your paper, but don't scrub and then lift it off. Ooh, fun. How cool is that? Kind of looks like some fluffy clouds. The tissue blots or lifts away some of the paint that was on the paper, leaving behind some of the white paper beneath it. Last but not least, let's experiment with some plastic. But you'll wanna make sure you have something heavy, like a have got this pencil sharpener, or you could use your water cup to weigh it down. Here we go. I'm gonna grab some water on my brush, add a little bit of water onto the paper, and then I'll choose a new color. I'm gonna do green. You can do any colors you like. You might decide, you know what? I wanna do two colors. Should we do two colors? You know what? Let's do it. I'm gonna grab, rinse that off, and grab some yellow. Ooh, that's fun. Why not? Let's get a little crazy. Rinse off your brush. Crumble up your plastic really good. Press down onto the paint, but leave it there. And now we'll get something heavy to weigh it down. And here's where we gotta put it, practice some patience. We're gonna let it dry and we'll come back in a little bit to see how it all turned out. While we're waiting for our experiments to dry, let's practice drawing a sweater. We'll choose our favorite texture to decorate with. Get out a piece of watercolor paper, a pencil or non-washable marker, and find the middle of your paper, right about here. Maybe a little bit above. That's not quite middle, maybe like right here. And let's draw a short line going across like this. I'm going to draw that a little darker so you can see. There we are. Perfect. Then draw two short lines on either side. This is going to be the neck of our sweater. To draw the shoulders, let's draw a curved line on either side like this. To draw the arms, we're gonna draw a long diagonal line on either side. You wanna make sure they're about the same length. 
so that, that way you don't end up with one arm that looks longer than the other. Mm. There we go. That's pretty good. For the bottom of the sleeves, let's draw a little C curve, a little curve like this. Awesome. To draw the rest of the sleeve, we're gonna draw another kind of curved line that's gonna go about halfway up the sleeve. We wanna leave some room for the armpit. Let's draw it maybe like that. I like how it kind of comes out a little bit. This is gonna be a very cozy looking sweater. All right, to draw the body of our sweater, we're gonna draw another curved line that's gonna start at the armpit and it's going to come out and down. Check this out. Ooh, very baggy. You can make yours less curvy if you want. It's your work of art, artist's choice. I'm going to go and connect them together at the bottom like this. Friends, the time has come for the moment we've all been waiting for. Drum roll, please. <gasps> Whoa, check it out. Wow, look at how the salt turned out. The salt really absorbed the water and left behind all these cool crystal-like formations. How did yours turn out? I can see it's left behind some really cool textures, but it looks different every time. Sometimes if I don't add enough water, it won't do too much. And sometimes I use more than one color and it just looks extra crazy. And that's the fun thing about these experiments. So many possibilities. If yours didn't turn out the way you thought it would, no worries. Practice makes better and you can always try again. Now my crayon experiment has long been dry and same with the tissue. I love how they turned out. So that just leaves our plastic experiment. Drum roll please once again. Whoa. The plastic left a print on the paint. And it kind of reminds me of a leaf. What do you think? Does it remind you of anything? Almost like a fossil. It's completely dry and it left a print of the plastic. So cool. Well, now it is time to pick our favorite one and add it to the sweater. Which one are you going to do? that is one fuzzy sweater. I can't wait to see how yours turned out. Thank you so much for painting with me today. If you had fun, be sure to subscribe and stay up to date with all the latest tutorials. And don't forget to check out artwithlauren.com for live weekly classes. Until next time, happy painting!